How's it going everyone? Yesterday Dorami verified the Yangi Ray. After over 100,000 attempts, which is insane dedication, massive congrats to Dorami first and foremost. And there's no better way other than playing the level and actually seeing how good it is. This level is absolutely stellar. Ever since I watched the very first preview of this level, I immediately fell in love with it. This might be my new favorite top 30 level. And let's just hop into the level. I am going to be doing a practice run of this, giving you my thoughts and opinions about the level but i already probably said more than enough because i as i said i absolutely love this level beginning so far is not too bad some fakes here and there of course the timings will get much harder because well in the very early at the very beginning of a the level there's jonathan's part which is yeah probably the hardest part of the level dude this pink dash up is so hard what you have to like click and let go in the very middle of the last part yeah, this part is so dope. I really hope this level will receive the legendary rating. I think it definitely deserves. Yeah, those dash up timings, bro. I don't know. And now we get to this like spooky part. This is much easier than the previous sections because face are pretty wide open. I like the nods to the original level. It's really cool. This part always looked really interesting, like because of those black orbs. That part was really hard. No shit. Like, you have to learn a lot of the gimmicks that this level uses. Like, so far, this level uses quite a few gimmicks. Which is, I mean, I I like it. Oh, you don't even... Okay, so that's another fake. Gotcha. Oh, we did a full part. Let's go. Oh, yeah, now Jonathan's part. Oh, yeah, and this... There's, like, blue orbs in this wave, I think. So, no. so let's see if you can actually hit those orbs. Okay, I, I guess, no, those are just fake orbs. That wave is pretty fun, actually. This part is so unique. Like, you don't see gameplay like this in extremes right now. There's, like, straight play and impossible wave. I, I swear, this is going to be one of the best top 30s current era, yeah. Because Jonathan's part is definitely a step up from the previous parts, but I think it's definitely doable with enough practice. Like, it feels like the level is much more balanced than the Yandere, because the first 30% in the Yandere was really easy, and then you got to Jonathan's part, and that was, like, a billion times harder. So I think, yeah, there was a lot of playtesting involved in this. Uh, which is great! Yeah, I love to see that. Uh, balanced levels are definitely better than non-balanced levels. The wave parts are not impossible actually i love this ufo it's so cool by the way that art is wow it's so it, dude, this was so good actually holy crap this is going to be in my like first five levels i do after a slaughterhouse like unironically like, like so far this level is such a blast to play i don't think you can even slide there because you have to press so fast the wave is so fun in this level holy crap what is this silent club step what and then like a spam yeah, that spam is super satisfying. I have to say, this club step monster, even though it's pretty simple, it, it just works perfectly for this level. It's so awesome. When you pass 30, the level just picks up the pace. And I think that's a very good thing, because it, like, it keeps the intensity for the whole level, because the ending is super slow, and the uh, very middle is like insanely fast. I mean, not the ending is actually not that slow, because the last part is really fast, but it's slower than this part, right? Oh, this level sinks so well. Like, if you press to those bum 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 bum, then it just... It works very well. Oh, what is that frame timing? What? Okay, another wave. I, I guess you, you can press once. Yeah, you can press once there. Okay, yeah, that part is really cool. Because you, 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 you don't really see the orb. But it's not too hard to the point that... I mean, you cannot buffer it. But you have to wait just a tiny bit, and that's good because there's a few levels in uh, like the very top that you literally cannot see anything. This level, I think, it manages to be really hard and really fun at the same time. And unfortunately, a lot of really hard extreme demons, they do not have that in common. They just aim for the difficulty rather than enjoyment of a level, which is really annoying because there's so many cool levels that they just are annoying as hell, unfortunately, and a lot of them are just wave levels. There's so much attention to detail in this level, I'm probably not even making the best job at commenting this because I'm trying to actually enjoy the level and try to say anything. Oh, this, this wave is really cool. That is quite unironically the three best orbs ever. You just, it, the, some of the hitboxes are tighter than they seem. It goes to the song so well. This is a bit rough though. Dude, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with these dash orbs. I, I just suck at dash orbs. That's probably a reason. 
You, you, that, that's another fake, okay. I thought that was going to be like the thing that you bounce from that, okay, no, that, that's not. This definitely is such a nod to the original Deandre. Like, this ending is so choke, it's such a choke point, definitely. Because it's super intense and it's quite difficult at the same time. So you avoid all of. Okay, so we avoid the dust, I think. I, I don't know, that looks like kind of dust. And then, of course, the classic 98 thing. Oh boy! So, wow, this level is in my top 10 extremes ever. It's so good! Holy crap, I, w I didn't even expect it to be this enjoyable. I know I just did one practice run and didn't do any runs, but this seems so freaking satisfying. It's a two and a half minute level. This level, first of all, looks so epic. Everything that was good about the Yandere and makes it even better, which is absolutely fantastic. The song goes so well with the level. The level itself plays absolutely amazing. And once again, huge GG's to Dorami because this level is a massive step up from Bloodlust. It's like, I, I will probably say this is harder than Tartarus, yeah, after playing it even once. This seems much harder than, ta than Tartarus. It's probably going to be placed around uh, top 28, if I would guess right now. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.